Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm decorating another envelope for an outgoing swap. So first of all, let me introduce, uh, this is my It's Too Hot To Care look. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I have bangs and a lot of hair and it's 30 degrees. So that is way too hot for a Dutch spring and I'm sweating and I am... Basically, I just stopped caring what I look like. I just want to cool down. Also, I picked up my new glasses today. I don't usually wear glasses during the day. I just have them for evenings and when I'm on the computer or reading a lot. But I just wanted to show them to you because I'm really, really happy. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna do this thing again, you know, where I uh, cut the video loose from the audio so then you can hear me talk and see me begin the envelope and I just want to tell you some things about this uh, I really hope my brain works long enough for me to actually manage to get the words out I, uh, I'm a typical Dutch person, I really cannot handle the heat very well um, anyways um, I know I say this so often these days but I am doing another private swap <laughs> And this time I'm doing a private swap with Nathalia and uh, we decided that we would send each other a flip book with some goodies. She also has a YouTube channel so I'm just gonna put her link in the description down below and then you can check out her channel if you like. And um, obviously she's going to make a video as well so don't forget to go over to her channel if you want to see what she created for me. Again, same as last time, I made uh, the flip book first and I also filmed that because we, we said we would both film this. Also, if you like the style of this envelope, then don't forget to check back uh, in a little while to see the finished flip book because I'm really happy with that. And it's, I actually tried something new again. Yay! I, I call it an exploding envelope. I have no idea if that makes any sense, but the exploding envelope that I made has a two themes combined. Uh, her swap bot profile says that she loves both Disney and vintage and she loves a whole lot more but these two just sort of <clears throat> got stuck in my head. I got this idea of combining my vintage book pages with uh, Disney goodies and pink because pink is one of her favorite colors and it looked really cool in my head and luckily the, f the exploding envelope itself also looks really cool if you ask me i mean am i allowed to say that about my own work i really hope so but just like last time don't go away um bef when i finish the envelope because i'm also going to use a wax seal stamp again to close the envelope um first thing i want to say also while you can see me decorating is that during this video it's going to get slightly darker first of all it is kind of darker already than my normal videos and that is because uh, it's so hot that I hung up a sheet in front of our balcony so to sort of block out the sun a little bit so that already makes it a little bit darker and then also it's about to rain slash thunder so you know the sun is completely gone now um, oh. But okay, 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 what I did, I'll just quickly talk you through what I did because when you're watching this, I probably already am. I moved already way too fast. Um, so I used one of these old, um, I used one of these old vintage book pages. I'll tell you more about them in the flipbook video. And then I used these scraps of paper that I had left from making that video uh, with the mini mouse, the pink mini mouse paper. I used some scraps of that try to make it look sort of distressed and then I used that to decorate and I circled I circled some uh, pa pencil sharpeners <laughs> the circles and I, I tried to make it look a little bit like a Mickey or a Minnie Mouse and I, I circled it many many times because I think when it's messy it just looks a little bit nicer than when they were just like straight perfect circles and then what else did I do I used stamps I used a uh, craft paper sticker so that I can write her address on there a little bit later and I used some washi tapes and a die cut from We Heart Confetti again. Um, when I first went, like five minutes ago when I finished filming this, I wasn't too pleased because when I was making the exploding envelope thingy, 
I was so happy like you're going to see that in a couple days I hope I don't know when I'm uploading this video I don't know when I'm uploading that video but just know that I will be uploading it soon but that flip book you know with the the vintage paper and the new paper it just looks in my opinion it just looks amazing I'm so in love with it I really love how it turned out and I was kind of hoping you know to continue on that spree uh, with this video so I was hoping to make the envelope as awesome as the flip book and I wasn't too pleased at first but then when I'm looking at it now I'm actually still quite happy because this is such a different style than what I normally do you know what I said just a little bit the distressed look but I quite like it and I quite like how this ties in with the the um, the contents of the envelope and then I realized something I've had this problem before because I tried sticking stuff on this envelope and it didn't work and I don't think you can actually see it on the video but this is a slightly sparkly envelope so it has like a real subtle uh, shimmer or glitter on the envelope and that actually makes it very difficult to glue stuff down on it so my glue my washi types nothing really works everything keeps letting loose so I also got a little bit frustrated but yeah in the end I kind of like how it looks I really hate that I have to put this um, the customs form on the back I, I printed it as small as possible I really hope they accept that but I have to print this I have to put this customs thing on the back you know just clarifying that there is a card in there and some papers and blah 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 but it doesn't look nice but I managed to get my waxy stamp on there as well without covering up the custom sheet so I'm happy with that and what, like I said I promised you I would do a wax seal and I've been trying out different things because I have these bright bright pink wax seal beads and they would obviously go very well with the mini mouse paper but because this is sort of a vintage look I wanted to try something different you know how is it going to look distressed if I have a bright pink wax seal so I added half a sort of golden wax bead it's more like a greenish gold so it's kind of like an old gold and I added half a bead of um, the shimmery red which I use for my Christmas cards and then I mixed that together a little bit so you cannot see it on film but in the actual wax seal you can see that there you can still see the pink a little bit you can see the gold you can see the red and i think it looks really cool it really ties together the whole envelope i think and i'm a little bit worried that the and uh, the address is going to be hard to read but i always always put my return address on the back so if anything were to go wrong i hope that they will send it back to me so anyway, I'm going to send this off to Natalia. I really hope she likes it. I hope it arrives in time. And I'm hoping to show you the inside of this envelope very soon as well. Thank you for watching again. I see, we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to hit subscribe and maybe even hit the notification bell if you want to be the first person to uh, see my videos. Ooh, I've no, I don't think I've ever said that before. Anyway, bye-bye.